It has been a truly long weekend here at IFA, the world's largest consumer electronics show held every year here in Berlin in Germany. Genuinely mind-blowing how vast and huge the show is and the amount of tech that is on display and really mind-blowing the actual tech, the type of tech that was being shown as well. Now, I came here to meet up with the DJI team and I had some really, really good meetings with them. I got to see the new Neo in action, which is a bit ironic because my own Neo was delivered to my house uh, on Friday whilst I was still here in Germany. So I'll be playing with that later on this week. But it was also great to see all the other DJI products in person and get to play with them. Well, obviously most of them. Uh, some of the big beasts, we're not gonna be going anywhere. But I will definitely be getting myself an Osmo Pocket 3 very soon. Uh, it's pretty clear the Sony ZV-1 camera, which I normally use in the studio on a tripod, really wasn't giving me the results that I wanted when I was uh, using it for the handheld filming around the show. So I will be coming away with some new tech, so that's good. Um, couldn't get a word uh, from anybody on any likely release date for a new Air 3S, uh, nor would anybody talk about any Mini 5 Pro. I did manage to get some confirmation on the new uh, Osmo Action 5, probably being out, well, definitely being out before Christmas, probably in the next few weeks. So at least that was one little result for me. But it's not just about drones, of course, pretty much every main tech company in the world comes here and they were all doing their best to show off their latest developments, as well as what they think will be the next big consumer trend that will get us to spend our money. A few common trends did seem to shine out, namely ultra huge micro LED TV screens, some of them over three meters or 12 feet uh, in diagonal uh, length. I mean, they'd fill an entire living room wall. Um, translucent TV screens as well, that was quite cool to see as well. Letting you see information, uh, but crucially then also letting you see into the appliance as well, be it on a fridge door or uh, on an oven. So that was quite cool. And what was really interesting was seeing how the big 10 companies like LG and Samsung are really pushing the whole smart home ecosystem where literally every aspect of the home is connected and talking to each other. The LG entrance was genuinely amazing and I will let that clip roll at the end of this video because it, it really was a, a beautiful and uh, amazing uh, uh, clip to see. It showed their vision of how a fully integrated home will be working in the near future where everything talks to each other and crucially you can talk to anything to control it. It really does bring uh, George Jetson and his wife Judy uh, to mind because that's how the house was behaving just like it did in the Jetsons all those years ago. Solar and crucially lithium battery storage was also a huge presence around the show and in fairness a lot of this tech is already out there. I mean earlier this year I had 20 solar panels and crucially a huge lithium battery uh, installed at my house and since that's been installed I'm barely using any grid electricity whatsoever. So um, you know this tech is there, I mean Christ I think even my dishwasher tells me when the cycle is, uh, is over and it flashes up on my phone to empty it. You know some of this stuff is already out there, what was great was seeing how much more of it is going to be there in the very very near future. Uh, admittedly nobody could tell me what was going to happen to your home when the router or internet fails as still happens all too often in my home but look why let that spoil a good story um, look what was it 70 70 thousand steps <laughs> I did over the course of three days absolutely amazing show so I'll finish off here and leave you with some of my favorite bits of this incredible show <laughs> 